this is a 95 percent blockage here patient presented with inferior wall mi as you can see that the catheter position is and fast here so whenever you're doing such a case uh, you might not get a lot of support uh, during the pci that is one thing to keep in mind so as i anticipated not getting a lot of support uh, as soon as the balloon has crossed you can see that the artery has got totally occluded with the diameter of the balloon uh, as you can see that uh, pre-dilatation is being done we're doing some pre-dilatation again in the mid part where there is the most tight stenosis again we're doing some uh, pre-dilatation with the 2.5 mm balloon uh, I've already said and I'm restating it that pre-dilatation is a very important step, lesion preparation is a very important step in PCI. After this we are trying to position the stent. You can see uh, finding there we have to take a long stent because there was some plaque also. again because there's not a lot of support so we have to be really careful the stent has been expanded uh, as you can see the stent deployed was a 3.5 mm stent and now we are pulled dilating it with a 3.5 mm NC balloon as with any lesion preparation post dilatation is also very important after the stent deployment doing some aggressive post dilatation yes I'm going to do some post dilatation wherever we think that stent has under expanded well yes 3.5 mm NC balloon doing it again A long pull dilatation long stent deployment long duration I mean is very important and I guess this is the final result wonderful results as you can see wonderful wonderful results patient is totally pain free uh, she has been discharged now after 48 hours and very happy with the results. Thank you. God bless.